I'm going to be estimating the remaining fill or airspace of an existing landfill using civil 3D grading tools. As we can see on our Google map here, there's quite a lot of fill left on this particular landfill. If we go to our drawing, we'll notice that I've created a surface from the Google insert and an image on top of that. I've kind of guessed at drawing a polyline around this area where I might think the a top or a close to the top starting point would be. And I, I go over here and I look at my elevations around 1280 and it's down here in the 1100s. So I want to make this about 1250. I can always lower or raise it if necessary. So I'm going to assign an elevation to this. I'll go to the properties and put 1250. Now we'll go to our grading tools click on the left button and we want to create a group and we'll call this landfill and we do want to create an automatic surface and I'm going to use uh, we can use two foot ten foot design and we do want to use a base surface of USGS Now the first thing I want to do is I want to grade down to the existing so I'm going to go grade to surface and then I'll go over here to my grade command on the first button hit create grading select the polyline it will bring this up I want to name it a feature line and I'll just name it the elevation I gave it I don't want to erase anything this time and also I'll select the style and hit OK now it's going to ask me what side I want to grade. I'm going to pick the downside. Yes to the entire length all the way around it. The slope I'm going to use is going to be 3 to 1 either cut or fill. Sometimes this may take a few minutes. Now we can take a look at our surface it's not complete yet. We need to. This is empty in here. We'll have to do an infill. But before I do that, after looking at this, just to show you, if you need to move this back and forth, like you might have a little bit of excess over here, you just click on your feature line and pull it back or pull it forward, whichever way you need to go. And you'll notice that it'll recompute the contours in the surface and and pull them back just a little bit. Okay, so you can adjust those back and forth and it will recompute the surface contours. Okay. If we want to go a little bit higher, then that that is we can do that. We'll go over here and we'll select uh, grade two elevation, and we'll go over here and we'll click and say we want to raise it at about a hundred feet. So we'll create grading again. We'll select on this line right here, and we're going to go up this time. So we'll hit inside the entire length. Yes, we do. We're going to we had 1250, we'll go to 1350. Slope will be 3, and our slope will be 3 again. And this should put us up at 100 extra feet. Okay, so we don't want to forget our end fill. We need to create an end fill. You just simply pick a point in the middle and hit enter and that will take care of that. Now if we want to do a quick section we can do a polyline and drag it across here and go to pick profile quick profile. This will not stay in your drawing it's just temporary. Click both surfaces click OK and then put a, our profile over here and now we can get a little visual of it last thing we want to do is we want to go to analyze volumes 
and we'll click on the left hand button here to create a volume comparison. Our base will be USGS, our comparison surface will be landfill, and this will give us a total of about 20 million cubic yards of fill, and that's good.